Hey guys, this is Ryan Thor, and for you, I want to play a little bit Company of Heroes. Classic game, but what the fuck is this? Yes, you seen correctly, this is the Far Eastern mod in beta. Finally, it's here. Um, I got me I'm playing now as Japan. This mod basically converts America and German into Japanese and Chinese which I was looking forward to since a while now. Um, yeah, I'll give you a little overview of the units and introduce you a little bit to the mod. Download link is of course in the description as well as the installation procedure. It should be shown at the mod. And let's get a little started here. Yes, Japan, finally. Pioneers with uh, Type 99s, I believe, are equipped. They uh, come in three groups, just like the Chinese. They are built here in the Imperial Japanese HQ. Here's a little description. 150 they cost. And yeah, I'll show you now a little bit about the commander selection. We have here the Imperial Japanese China Garrison Army, the Imperial Japanese Central China Army, and the IJA Southern Expeditionary Army Group. If you want, you can pause the video and you can read, but I'll show you a little bit what they can do. In the China Garrison Army, you can get a Kamikaze Squad. They are really nice, I like them. They cost 400, but they work like Goliaths in the original game. They uh, run up to the enemy with katanas, that's fucking badass, and explode. We have then the Special Mortar Team. They throw gas. Like I said, always pause in the video if you want to read the description. They can throw gas and it has an area of effect uh, damage, but it stays for a long time, so please watch out when you do that strategy. Indiscriminating bombing, it's uh, like a heavy bombing run, that is also quite nice. I've played a few rounds, so I know a little bit about this. Tenno Haika Banzai, of course, it does what you expect. The Imperial Japanese troops then go up and try to attack the enemy wi without fear of death, basically. Propaganda war, yeah, it's just like in the original game. And we have here a firestorm. Firestorm does not come like with the Germans. From nowhere, a Zero bomber comes and attacks. The Zero model actually is quite good. Okay, the Central China Army. You get a Bright Division. You call in a Nissan 180 truck. And they have a special infantry group brigade. I think I will get this uh, during this game. This is just the introductionary game. So I'll let my AI colleagues do the shit while I show you a few stuff. Yes, you can get a Kwangtung Army squad. That means Manchurian troops come. They are actually not that bad. Then we have the Type 97 Kai medium tank, which is actually not that bad. I like it quite a lot, and the models are really beautiful. Assault, just like in the original game. Here you can get an AA implantment. The Chinese also have AA implantments. Um, yeah, the Type 96. And we have the sector artillery. It's just like in the original game. The IJA Southern Expeditionary Army Group has um, SNLF forces, which are, in my opinion, really cool. They have the Type 96 LMG, etc. Then you can call the Half One Half Track. It's a half track that you can transport troops. Plus, it also takes um, some kind of 75 millimeter mountain gun. This is a troop support gun. It's not really anti-tank. Um, and it shoots against the infantry. Then we have this Type 1 uh, anti-tank tank, basically. Yeah, description, of course. Then we have an air recon, just like in the normal game. Here you can get a Chiro, one of my favorite tanks of all time. Looks quite sleek and sexy, even though it's a small Japanese tank. And then you have the battleship main gun. You can call um, an offshore bombardment from a ship. Well, let's say let's take the Central Japanese Army so I can show you the Bright Division and the Manchurian troops. Good. Uh, Japan plays basically like um, the Germans. You have your main building and you upgrade and upgrade and upgrade. The Chinese play a little different, but I think I'll show you in a different video. So let's get some troops out here. We have here in the first building, this is the press gang station. Um, be aware, this is still beta and some translations aren't perfect but in my opinion um, the modeling and the professional work that has been put into this makes it all equal again we have here then the foreign japanese army 
as you can see here Korean spelled with C so it's not perfect yet Korean troops will come to the front here we have the grenade discharger team which is quite cool actually if you played rising storm and the type 97 motorcycle I'll build here the barracks and show you now some basic troops these are the puppet army troops these are basically recruited Chinese in uh, more or less older uniforms but they are carrying the type 98 uh, 99 which is uh, quite weird in my opinion actually and here we have some fleeing Chinese troops this is actually a skirmish game with POWs meaning that uh, troops can surrender what I've seen uh, basically only the Chinese troops surrender but maybe we'll see in this game uh, that the Japanese troops will surrender these are the Korean troops they are also carrying the Type 99 Sassy has uniforms led by I think a Japanese uh, officer he has the Nambu which is totally good made I love this model looks like he belongs to the secret police actually because of his armband which is quite a nice detail actually um, yes the puppet army are the weakest troops but also simultaneously one of the cheapest here we're fighting against some Chinese inferior troops they're actually equipped with what is supposed to be I think the Mosin Nagan since of its magazine thingy down here but the snout or the front sorry if my English is now a little bad um, looks more like a type 99 the Korean troops and my Chinese troops are fighting against the Chinese here we have the grenade discharger team which I find really really sexy they are carrying the type 38 as you can see with bayonet um, the thing is with bayonet I was hoping that they will have melee combat what I've seen there are special troops that um, can attack from close but there are no animations yet this is still better so maybe they put that in that would be quite sassy this guy with the headband so nice and uh, grenade discharge costs 30 ammunition so as you can see nice little animation there puts down his grenade discharger shoots a grenade through the air Woo, boom killing as many people as possible we have here the type 97 motorcycle also quite sassy looks quite similar to the German motorcycle of course with the type 11 LMG so that was basically all the troops from the first building what you can get I can escalate and yeah here we have basically a lot of good troops the Imperial Japanese regulars these are normal uh, Japanese troops like I said please pause and read the description if you like so then you can order the type 92 HMG it is quite good this is called by the Americans woodpeck if I remember right and the thing is with the Japanese though many troops cost to build ammunition so if you are trying to make a strategy please think about that then we have the sniper the normal one and a mortar team mortar team I like quite a lot it is it is very comparable to the German ones and yeah I just I just love this mod I must say it's uh, really good the mod the models are really good looking and stuff the MG type 92 bunker here is quite sexy and what I also like is that um, the Chinese and the Japanese play really different actually in my next video I'll show you how the Chinese work but um, yeah here's the normal Japanese troops the IJA regulars they are fighting with type 38s with bayonets and you can upgrade them with the type 11 uh, light machine gun led again by an officer with an anvil quite sassy here we have the type 92 HMG this is in my opinion a really nice gun it even has a nice animation when he puts it up he ta puts it on the ground which is quite cool actually yeah as you can see with a little boxy <laughs> and the type 11 LMG that's so great sniper will be coming out soon uh, we should build our last building oh wait I didn't even build the support armory okay doesn't matter <laughs> You have then the support armory and then the tank factory. Oops, forgot to press shift there. Um, the Japanese with their tanks, they are more meh. If you don't have um, a good, if you don't take the, the command tree, it is okay, but really nothing more than meh. So I just got me my bright division. 
I'm not sure if this is weirdly translated or if it was really called the Bright Division. You have to ask someone else there for that. Yeah, we're fighting against some grenade teams from the Chinese. As you can see, they have either multi Nagants or K98s and Type 98s. So that means they are a little bit uh, confused on what they want to use. Yes, here's some Chinese with uh, anti tank rifles, which is quite cool. Here's a special unit. Um, I don't run away, I want to show you guys. Um, they have this German helmet. It's cool because the Chinese basically have uh, command trees that help you from well they show basically the factions what helped you or helped the Chinese doing that wartime the Germans the Americans and the last one I forgot but like I said I'll show you another video good here we have the Nissan 180 with our Imperial uh, Bright Division Guard it looks the symbol is like the Imperial Guard somehow this is quite cool actually they have sassy green uniforms and backpacks can uh, equip them also with a Type 11 LMG, led by an officer, a high-ranked officer actually, if you can see in the border pad. This is so quite, this is so good detailed on the models, I really love this. Let's put them back in there. Oh, we can call a Kwangtum army squad. Let's get some Manchurians up his ass. So back to the mortar and uh, basic troops. Here we have a sniper using a Type 97, it's an upgraded 38 model, if I remember right. With a little scope, as you can see. The Japanese with their mortar, which is also quite nice. Oh, the Kwang Tung squad has two LMGs. That's quite nice. Is that a Type 26? Ah, I'm not really sure. Type 11 or so. Oh yeah, since he gets uh, Panzer uh, German support, he gets a Panzer One, which is quite sexy. I love playing with the Panzer One as the Chinese. It's really cool. Um, yeah, as you can see, the Chinese have taken over Japanese gun emplacement. You can do that; it's easier now. The troops inside of the bunkers die a lot quicker now, so you can take it over, which I find a very nice detail. So now we have the support armory. He gets the more interesting stuff. Now you have the M25 armored car, basically a wicked armored car. It's quite good. It has two LMG, uh, MGs, and it's quite fun to use actually. Then we have here uh, the Type 92 battalion gun. This is very great. I like it. It um, is basically a unit support. It, it discharges grenades, if you say so. Yeah, and here's a POW running away. Sassy shoes. <laughs> Can build that too. And here we have the Rikugun Shui the officer he is I wouldn't say useless but um, if you have lots of ammo he's quite good since he can call a zero strike meaning that uh, a zero Mitsubishi will come and fuck shit up in English let's just send the troops to their death just fight a little bit just trying to introduce I'm not really trying to win here just trying to get some points and just showing you guys the great the greatness of this mod yeah while that's doing I'll show you a little bit on the tank factory here we have the type 94 tankette it's really fucking cute in my opinion it um, is quite small good for infantry support we have the all well by me loved type 95 Hago one of my favorite tanks of all time assault squad men of war <laughs> And we have here the Type 97 Chiha, quite expensive, but um, you also have to up get an upgrade for this. You can only have one in the battle, which is, in um, my opinion, not that good, but um, yeah. So here we have the M25, even with a uh, crew member on top, which is uh, quite a nice detail. Go fight. The Nissan apparently doesn't have a battle attack button but what you want yeah here's a type 92 battalion gun it's quite nice used I think by mountain troops or so to defend positions really like the Germans and here's our officer he has a katana can camouflage and call in a zero strike um, like I said sadly there are no there is no um, melee combat maybe they will implement that later 
because the lieutenant with his sword would be fucking cool actually. Dush. What I find also nice is that the uh, battalion gun can penetrate uh, light armor, which is basically the whole game. There are no really heavy tanks in that sense, you know, like in the German front or the Eastern front. But that is of course historical like that. I think I'll call in the Hago. Wonderful. Here's our first anti-tank gun, 47mm. Quite weak, but effective against the Chinese tanks, of course. So many parts at once, man. What the hell? Um, I'll send this anti-tank against the Panzer 1. My mortar team. I really like the models, man. It, it's so great. If I could get someone to play with me, I'm looking at you, Ramel or Rick, then we could make actually very cool videos. <laughs> <coughs> and yeah, this is basically introductory of Japanese video, like I said. Um, later I might talk about in the video what my plans are, because I really haven't for a long time made videos. And some of you guys are really disappointed about that. But I'll get to that later as soon as we have all this. Ooh, the Vickers Mark EB. This is the weakest Chinese tank that you can get. British. Not many were exported as in my uh, the knowledge. But uh, they still have it in the game and the model is quite good. They sadly don't have a picture here that shows you like in the original game what is kaput or so. But that is more irrelevant. Um, where's the Type 95? I ordered one. Oh, here. Sexy ass tank. The Hagu. One of my favorites. So cute. Ah, <laughs> uh, let's order. Ah, oh, I need more gas. Doesn't matter. Let's just send you over. Like I said, I'm not really playing seriously at all, but. Obviously, you can only have one, like I said. Wait, I didn't say that. Who cares? But, uh, yeah, puppet army for Japanese. Let's get some Koreans up this ass. Yeah, like I said, Japanese play is quite straightforward, like the Germans. The Chinese have to upgrade most of their buildings until they can build stuff, which leads to a different kind of uh, strategy. But it is quite nice. The Chinese also have a special unit, in my opinion. It costs only 100. But, um, oh yeah, here are the Germans, as you can see, MP18 Bergmann, the Czech ZIS-26, if I remember right. Oh, okay. <laughs> and here's the Pac-36, also from the German Doctrine, which is quite cool. Um, what was I was about to say now? Yeah. Ah. Jesus Christ. Let's, let's order Type 97. <laughs> Oh yes, uh, the Chinese, they have a special unit, which I find quite funny. This is something what you would imagine from the Russians though, actually, if you <laughs> are a believer of Hollywood. They have um, for a unit that is in the first building, it costs 100 manpower and builds in like 5 seconds. It's uh, a conscriptee squad, which I find quite funny. It um, has six guys, if I or seven guys, if I remember right, led by one policeman. And all of the units don't have a gun except the policeman. He just has a pistol. You can use them to dig um, Schützengräben, uh, foxholes, you know what I mean? And um, capture points. Yeah, it's quite cool. One destroy the Panzer 1. You know you're superior. damage the engine, damage the turrets, etc. like in the original game. Oh, and here's the Italian Breda Chinese anti-tank, uh, not anti-tank, sorry, anti-aircraft gun. Looking quite good, the model. Chinese are also very defensive. If you want them to be, you can build various uh, structures that help you defend. Japanese are more aggressive, more blitzkrieg, I would say. Send everything over. So let's send our Korean guys over here against the, the, ch the German trained Chinese guys. If you don't believe this then check up Wikipedia or some shit because this this theater of war not many people know, it's not really taught at school. 
but um, Chinese Japanese Sino Japanese war was uh, quite interesting if you're interested in history too. So my Type 95 died in a glorious explosion. Model the the couple of models look good. Ah. Okay. I really like this mod. Um yeah, I'll give you a little overview of how the buildings look like. Quite sexy in my opinion. Here's some Chinese buildings. They look quite American. They're just remodeled Americans. But like I said, better's better, so calm your tits, man. Let's march into war. I just find a little bit funny that the foreign troops get the Type 99, which had a better caliber, in my opinion. And the original Japanese troops get the Type 38, but um, yeah, this is not my mod, so <laughs> I would have done it otherwise around, but it's okay. Chinese are getting suppressed here. Panzer 1s are everywhere, man, it's crazy. Oh yeah, this guy has the American Doctrine, I think. Ah, come on. No, it's just a bug. Sorry. It says the M1 57mm. It's, like I said, it's still buggy. It's better is better. Please don't forget that. Just appreciate the models, the design, and maybe, hopefully, someday, <laughs> the melee combat. So I'll get some troops now, and while I'm playing, I think I will talk a little bit about why I was absent so long, what my plans in the future are, and what I will do with my videos now, I think. To build up that. Oh, he has the, really, the American Doctrine. He has a brand carrier. As you can see. Chinese have American helmets. I like that shit, too. They also have British helmets or old American helmets, which is quite cool. Um, yeah, what my absence was. Um, last little while, I finished school, finally. I got my degree. And... After that, you know, I was really uh, bored, basically. Had no real intention to make videos, you know. I'm, I'm sorry that I didn't make videos. I know some of you really like them, which I cannot understand, but... <laughs> um, holy shit. Oh, dude, is there no MG? Oh, okay. A little buggy, but... Um, can't do anything about that. Um, what was I? Yeah, I finished school. I really didn't want to make any videos at that time in my life. After school, you would think, yeah, it's happy, but um, it didn't go that well for me. Oh, it's a Renault FT17. Nice model. And yeah, now I just saw this mod, you know, a few days ago, and I'm like, fuck yeah. This I need to show you guys. I'm not sure if many people know this mod. It is. Uh, I think underappreciated, I would say. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to introduce it to you. And future plans for my channel, yes, um, I should talk about that too. Um, I have been collecting rifles, if you don't know. <laughs> and I was planning to make actually something like a gaming hybrid gun channel, where I could um, introduce you guys nice mods like I did in my past. And uh, maybe show you some of my guns, you know, because I am a gun nut. As Austrian, I know that's quite weird, or European, such as Americans would think. <laughs> but um, I love collecting some. I have like a G98, Mosin Lagarde, Steyr M9530, uh, and all kinds of stuff. And I was thinking, yeah, that is also one of the reasons why I erased my older YouTube videos. I'm sorry. I could maybe remake some Call of Duty videos. I was planning to make um, some money off of YouTube, I know, greedy Jew, but um, just for you guys, you know, because I'm not that rich, <laughs> as you can see on my computer specs, um, I would have liked to buy a camera or so, so I could make some videos for you guys, or a better system to make um, also more qu higher quality videos for you guys, and yeah, that was the reason for me deleting the videos, because they had copyright stuff, you know what I mean, and a little bit of cash that doesn't hurt, you know what I mean. At least I think it doesn't. <laughs> so, yeah, if you're asking where the videos are, I erase them. I can make remakes if you want. Some people really like the Call of Duty videos, the German mod. I can uh, do that again. 
because I personally really like the mod. And yeah, if all good wor things work out, I will probably make a few more videos in the future. I think I will now a little bit about this mod. Um, and if everything works out, maybe I can even show you my guns or something. Because that is one of my passions. I will go even to the military. I've been drafted. I have done this on a um, voluntarily basis, you could say. Since you don't really have to in Austria, you can, but you don't have to. And yeah, that's in 7th of July, uh, June. No, not June, sorry. Uh, January next year. Although, take it. Go to bed. And from then on, I will be six months gone, so yeah, you cannot await any videos, but until then, I should make a few videos. Is that a sniper? Is that a sniper? Yeah, that's a scope. Nice. Um, I think we're getting overrun. It's good that I built the AA in place. This is quite sexy. Um, I'm going. Yeah. I'm, I'm just talking and talking shit. Um, I need to concentrate either on playing or on talking. Uh, we're being overrun, so it doesn't really matter. Chinese anti tank groups, German help troops. Um, yeah, my videos. Um, I will make in the future a few mod videos, since that is what my channel has been made of basically all the time. If you have any good mods, which is like related to this mod, could be any game. I'm, I don't have that many games, I would say, but um, just send me some of your, uh, how do you say in English, propositions, and then I'll look at the mod and then I can play and make a video for you guys. Because since I'm a little bored, I would like to make some videos for you guys. Yeah, basically, that was it, I think. For the Japanese side, got totally destructed. Um, if you liked what you saw, please give me a thumbs up. I know I'm a little bitch for that now, for asking that. But this is my first video since like a year or so, so... <laughs> show me some love, show me that you want me to make more videos. If I act a little tired, it's because it's 3 o'clock in the morning here. I'm quite sorry. Next video will be a lot more energetic. Um, if you like the mod, please go to the download link. Support this mod full-heartedly. I do. I really love it. Models are great. The balance could be a little bit better. Um, I think some Chinese units are far too cheap and some Japanese units are far too expensive. But uh, better is better, of course. Some inferior troops. I like the models because they look like um, irregulars. <laughs> The deserters and stuff. Relating. Yeah, I gotta get me some of those. Um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. My base is totally destroyed, anyways. Now, I mean, uh, it's no chance of winning. But that's the problem when you have to commentate and introduce the faction. Oh man, they took my flag. Um, yeah, guys, so uh, take care. Thank you for watching my video. And I hope to see you guys in a future video. Peace out. I'll let the footage run a little bit to show you how our, our demise, at least my NPC. <laughs> okay, guys. See you later. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.
Americans are hitting our comrades' base. 